New tonight, survivors of the workplace shooting in Albertville are learning more about how they can get money from the $260,000 Albertville Survivors Fund. Way 31's Nicole Zedek joins us live from Steed State Community College, where the public had a chance to learn more about this Survivors Fund. Nicole, what were the main points of the meeting? Well, the main points were all on this draft protocol that was created by the steering committee for the Albertville Survivors Fund. Now, it basically just explains who is eligible for the money from the funds, since it's not only those who were injured in the shooting. The uh, effects of something like this touch so many people. Joe Whitmore is not only the president of Sneed State Community College, he's also the chairman of the Albertville Survivors Fund Committee. We try to set the protocols for how the money that is raised from this tragedy will be distributed. Tuesday night, community members had an opportunity to learn more about who can receive money from the fund. 100% of this money is going to go to the people directly impacted by this event. The founder of the nonprofit establishing the fund explained three categories of recipients. Families of those who died in the shooting, people who were injured, and the largest category, employees suffering from psychological trauma. We recognize that uh, for people who were there who witnessed this uh, and lived through it, um, that they're impacted by it. Impacted by a tragic event you never think will happen in a small town. You think that this kind of violence would, couldn't take place around here, but as we're reminded every day, no one's immune to this. It could happen to anywhere at any time. Now, it was a relatively small turnout for the town hall here at Sneed State Community College, and that could be because not many Mueller employees know about the fund. But committee leaders are hoping that the town hall will help spread the word, and they encourage everyone eligible to apply. We'll have more information and a link on how to apply on our website at waytv.com. Reporting live in Boaz, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. Thanks, Nicole. Two people were killed in that shooting, David Horton and Lee Dobbins. After officials announced the Albertville Survivors Fund, we got an update on the two surviving shooting victims. Isaac Bird and Casey Sampson are still receiving treatment after suffering serious injuries. We have reached out to their families and hope to learn more about how they're doing.